It's the most diverse city in North America. More than half of Toronto's residents are born outside Canada, and that number could soon explode. Sean Fraser is Canada's immigration minister. The number of newcomers that we welcomed the year prior to forming government was about 240,000 annually. And by 2025, we'll be increasing it to 500,000. By 2025, Canada's government hopes to bring in nearly one and a half million immigrants to fill critical jobs. We are currently in a healthcare crisis and in a significant nursing shortage. So we really need to, to get creative and innovative. At Toronto's largest city hospital, the recruitment push is on. Hello, how are you doing? 25-year-old Amandeep Kaur was a nurse in India. She arrived in Canada just as the pandemic began. I never thought that I would be at this place, like working in a world-class hospital. We currently have about anywhere between 400 and 500 vacancies in nursing alone. Toronto is a multicultural city, one of the most diverse in North America. But people here say they need even more immigration to fill key labor shortages. In 2022, immigrants made up 23% of Canada's population, the largest proportion in more than 150 years. That's compared to just 14.6% and the United States. It is a nonpartisan issue in Canada. It really isn't. All the political parties support immigration. And with a rapidly aging workforce, business leaders have been pressuring the government to up the number of immigrants for years. We need more people. Uh, we don't care where they're from. Uh, if they've got technical skills, if they're willing to work, if they're able to you know, work, in, you know, work with numbers, uh, bring them in. Did you run up against any of that kind of opposition in Canada. People saying that we should preserve Canadian jobs for Canadians. Look, that narrative uh, comes up every once in a while. We still have almost one million vacancies in the Canadian economy where businesses need workers. Workers like Amandeep, who now call this country their home. Personally, I've felt so. Like I've gotten all the support because I was alone here. So I've gotten all the support from all the communities that are here. Julia Ainsley, NBC News, Toronto. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.